37th meeting of the Council of Ministers is, and I quote, Comesa towards digital economic integration, end of quote. Indeed, I am welcoming you to a digitalized Comesa. This theme resonates well with the digital technological advances that have taken place in the Comesa region in the recent past. Globally, countries are increasingly trading with each other through electronic platforms. It is for this reason that Comesa's regional integration process should keep abreast with these changes for the region to maintain its foothold on the global trade arena. On our part, through the Smart Zambia Institute, which is an e-government division within the Cabinet Office, our vision as a country is to become a prosperous and globally competitive knowledge-based developed country by 2064 through utilization of digital platforms. When it comes to trade facilitation, when it comes to financial services, the banking sector, gone are the days in this digital world when we have got to have documents being done at borders because they can be done from the country of export, irrespective of where it is. And this is in fact provided for in the World Trade Facilitation Agreement and also in Annex 1 of the Commissar Treaty. Therefore, it means that we do away with the queue, long queues that we see at Porta Post because we can integrate. The same would apply to the people traveling across the borders because they can simply provide information for that. And the same applies to cross-border traders who have developed an, a, a mobile application for cross-border traders, which we shall be launching um, in the countries that are involved in the simplified trade regime. We shall integrate them in real time to customs and other agencies and also to the commercial center. The other issue I just want to indicate before I conclude is that uh, when it comes to digital economic integration, we are also looking at the financial services sector. Globally, the financial services sector for counterparties, it, 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 100 trillion United States dollars are required for counterparties. Why do we have counterparties? We have counterparties because we do not know one another, we don't trust one another. This region alone, as Comesa, in terms of our trade, we have 450 million US dollars that is paid to commercial banks for confirming letters of credit. Sooner or later, that will be a theme of the past. I would therefore like to pay a special tribute to Comesa for its indelible imprint on the continental integration process, not only through the formidable geographical and economic size, but more importantly, through the pioneering nature of many of its programs and institutions. Today, as I note with great interest, the very theme of this council is forward-looking and progressive. Comesa towards a digital economic integration. African states can boast of intra commerce trade that has grown by 12% in a span of two years, primarily through the tripartite agreement, a single trade regime whose comprehensiveness is worthy of emulation by other regions. 